And in the Times that day uh, was a piece that blew my mind. It was one of those stories that you read and you don't forget. And uh, it, was, it was in the national section. And the headline was something to the effect of Mexican cartel lures American teens as killers. And it was an article about these boys from Laredo, Texas, which is right on the border with Mexico. Uh, the boys' names were Gabriel Cardona and Rosalio Retta. Uh, Rosalio went by Bart because he was um, 5'3 and looked a lot like Bart Simpson. And they worked with other boys in uh, uh, Laredo and they'd all become operatives for a very dangerous drug cartel called the Zetas. Uh, and so the article talked about them, talked about their crimes, and mentioned uh, a Laredo detective, a man by the name of Robert Garcia, who had pursued these boys when the cartel sent them back into the U.S. to start to do murders on this side of the border on behalf of the cartel. Um, I'm not going to read from the book today. I actually don't even have a copy, but I did just want to read the first few lines of this piece because it's what got me started on this book and it's what the sort of seed of Wolf Boys was. So here's, here's how the piece began. It was written by a guy named uh, James C. McKinley Jr. who's, who's a veteran uh, uh, New York Times reporter. At, at that point he was, he was on the southwest border and he went to Laredo uh, to write the story that I read. So this is how it starts. When he was finally caught, Rosalio Retta told detectives here that he had felt a thrill each time he killed. It was like being Superman or James Bond, he said. I like what I do, he told the police in a videotaped confession. I don't deny it. Mr. Retta was 13 when he was recruited by the Zetas. He was one of a group of American teenagers from the impoverished streets of Laredo who was lured into the drug wars across the Rio Grande in Mexico with promises of high pay, fancy cars, and sexy women. After a short apprenticeship in Mexico, the young men lived in an expensive house in Texas, available to kill whenever called on. 